to the Hungry for Success series. I almost said director of football, not need to legend. That's my other series. I've been recording that for a while. So I just jumped on to do this one. I'm going to do a couple of episodes of this now. Um, don't know why I'm telling you this. I could just read on the intro, but ah, who, who, who wants to see that, huh? Um, so today we play Montenegro and Denmark in our first two games in the European International League Division C. We are not favourites for this game after the heartache that was the Euros where we left with no points even though we managed to get so very close. Um, we are. This is the team I had originally picked but a couple of them are a little bit on the tired side or not well not tired but not match sharp so we are going to yeah so the team for the game against uh montenegro is going to be gulaski in goal tamas and butka as our wing backs orban and kekchis as our center backs uh, matavida uh, mate vida and Nagy as our pretty much normal central midfield uh, partnership. Varga and Sele as our wingers. Uh, Zazazali, Zabozali, sorry, as our shadow striker attacking midfielder. You know, pew, good, good footballer in behind Navatny. Uh, Chobot is out with an injury. Um, Otigba was supposed to be part of the team. But um, RD has come in for him. Um, Ortigba picked up a uh, uh, damaged hip. So he's going to be missing, I think, it's three to four months. So he probably won't be playing in this. Um, at least the first four games of, the, uh, of this group. Uh, they do have Jovetic up front other than that there's not i know, I know vukic uh, vukovic is a good player as well um, and i think nikolaic is good but we are gooder than them so go on let's okay um i would like to say thank you to anybody who's after uh, jumping on and watching this series because this has gotten um, a good lot of views compared to some of my other videos recently um, especially the ones about the Euros they were they weren't too bad they were better than I was expecting um, pick the team to give them the best chance of winning um, so yeah I'm I'm enjoying this series I didn't expect too many people to to kind of be interested in it because it's not something that you see very very much on uh, YouTube because international football. What? No way that was a penalty. Um, international football does kind of oh, God, ask you so close. It does divide opinion on you know whether people like watching it or not because it can can be a bit tedious and. You know, but I do try to make it more interesting. Like five four against um, Germany. It's, I I would say it's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun to watch when you know the team you're managing is uh, going crazy. But yeah, as you can tell, this this game's a bit uh not been the most interesting. We're supposed to only twenty minutes in. Um. I would kind of hope that Montenegro would be one of those teams that we could beat because I do think Denmark probably have our number. Oh, Zobazali almost put it in. Um, Denmark probably have our number and Belarus is a bit... So I'm kind of hoping that Montenegro was going to be the one where we'd, you know, beat them quite convincingly. It's not been the case though. To be fair, they didn't do too badly in the Euros just gone. So, 
And we have had a good few injury issues recently as well. So it's... I don't know. I'm not 100% comfortable with the the team we have because we don't really have a striker who I, I trust to score goals. Because um, Novotny is okay, but he's not brilliant. Um, Bello, I kind of look at him as more of a a winger. Uh, Vida. Vida's... And who else? Uh, I did leave Cesalia because I don't think he was. I think he's probably beyond being that good of a player. Uh, but that just that really wasn't good enough. I do expect a better showing in the second half. Uh, like Matt, Matt a. Vida played horrendously. Zavazali didn't play great. Saleh didn't play play great. Navotny didn't play great. Yeah, when you go beyond kind of the, I suppose the eleven that I was playing in um, the Euros, you're kind of there's not a great amount behind that, but you know, it's just the way it is. I suppose I'm gonna put you as a Mazalax, like you as a Mazala, and I want to give. Altman, his debut, I'm going to have you as an attacking midfielder. Uh, so Malavotny, I'm going to take you off because you've not done anything in this game. Go on, Vida. Uh, I'll leave you be a pressing forward. Might make a little bit of a difference. Uh, we'll leave it at those two substitutions for now. But. Yeah, it's been a fairly uh, dull game. Like it says, we've had ten shots, but we haven't really, we haven't really seen any of our highlights. Um, Hungary definitely struggles with defenders in in this save. I don't know what it's like in so other people's saves, but we're in the year twenty twenty two, twenty three. Yeah, we're we're going into twenty twenty three. Very few defenders have come through in the world of Hungarian football. That was just horrendous defending. Oh, Galaski! It went through Galaski's feet. Oh. Ah uh, well, we're losing anyway, so I might as well give the kid and yeah, bring one as left back. You can't really play left back, but yeah. nobody's playing well. So, uh, already. Oh my god, are you serious? I was going to take Orban off and everything, but then I was like, no, 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 nah. You can play on. Fuck it. You're not my. You're not my problem after this game. Just means I'll have to bring someone in to replace you for Denmark. Possibly. Go on, Vida. Ah. See, if that was uh, Chobot, easy go. Would have obviously guaranteed, almost guaranteed it, the goal. But. Oh. Like, we've dominated this game. Yeah, let's go very attacking. Push forward. Uh, some people are fired up, so we may do, if if we score, I'd be happy. I think Arde is the one that hadn't played too much first team football. Sale, I think he's the one that hasn't. God damn it! I think he's the one that hasn't played. Oh, zabazali has got himself sent off. Yeah, he's on loan in like the third division. Yeah. <laughs> he uh he looked like yeah, that's not what he meant to do. He looks he looked better. He had like four and a half star potential to his like two star current ability. 
went on loan to a Division 3 team and instantly dropped. But he went on uh, on loan just after I uh, I called him up. Alright, so I know Zabazali for the next game. He was linked with Man United and Liverpool just before the um, the squad got selected. So, in my director of football, my other series on YouTube, he uh, he plays for me at Arsenal. But he was there when, oh Jesus, he was there when I took over. So, it was, you know, I think he's the only player in my team. Yeah, he's the only Hungarian player in my team. Tottenham, however, have two or three, and I kind of wanted to join them. I'm not, no, I'm not pleased. That was horrendous. Yeah, I'm disappointed when I'm getting sent, sent off. I'm disappointed with the whole team, basically. I'm just probably going to go a whole different 11 against Denmark and see what happens. So I was banned for one game. St. Mirren boss. What division are St. Mirren? Oh, that's good. They're in second in the championship. It's only the start of the season. Yeah, that's what I thought. But someone of Otney's want to be St. Mirren. Why do all the Hungarian players go to go to Scotland? Hmm. Anyway, we'll be back for the Denmark game in just a second. All right, fellas. So here we go against Denmark, who beat Belarus. 4-1. It's not ideal. It is not ideal. Um, so for this game, I've made fairly big changes. Uh, Soma Novotny. No, not Novotny. Who was it? Orban. Um, Orban, because of the injury he got in the, the game, had to be taken out of the squad. So I brought in Kevin Coromendi, who has played twice for... The first team of his club, uh, Pujas Academica. Yeah, Academ uh, Academ Pujas Macadamia not. Um, he has played quite a few times for their second team. He gets called up because we don't... Why not? Uh, silly. Yeah, put you on support. Um, so, Hunt Wagner comes in for the game. Uh, Kader and Bessé both come in for today's game. Uh, Kikachus and Lang start today's game. Vida and Nagy continue, or do they? Yeah. Uh, Varga and Saloy are on the wings. Sele goes through the middle, and Christopher Vida starts up front. Uh, to be fair, Nobody that started the last game played well enough to continue playing. Maybe Galaski, but I'm going to put, put Wagner in because he's the future of Hungarian goalkeepers. So he's the best. What's... Not making his debut. He's played five games. What? So we are in... Quite quite a bit of trouble. I don't think that we are. Got there and the world. Oh, they like that. Okay. So we are heavily underdogs for this, but we are still going to play our way. Still going to play attacking. Still going to try and control possession. To be fair, they've had a hundred percent so far. Ah, it's split now. Casper Dover. Cheeky little chip. What is going on with my hair? He's gone all crazy. Lang picks it up to Vida. Nagy whips it forward to Varga. Pa back to Slory. Yes. Get in. That was those two. When I originally, before I started the recording, they were two that I had hadn't put in the squad. I had Varga out and I had Sile playing where Saloy was and I had Beloch Beloch playing in Vargas position 
So I'm kind of glad that I played the two of them. Now it makes me look like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Which of course I do. I am a genius. Um, I did bring the wingbacks on, from support to fullbacks on defend. Because I feel like that that's kind of our main issue when we don't really have very good wing backs that can do an awful lot. Like, at least with Lavrinciscus, he was good at crossing, so I could put him to support, tell him to bomb forward, and he had a good long shot as well. But um, the current crop of fullbacks we have just can't really do that. That was horrendous attempt at a clearance. We did so well in the lead up to, like the defensive lead up to their goal. It was just everyone just went straight over to Ericsson. It's okay. I'll take a draw. That's fine. I don't know why it doesn't show the league table. That, like, you know. So. Okay. Kader picks it up. Back to Lang. Back to Kader. Back to Lang. Lang's going to lose it. No, Kader. You're going to lose it, aren't you? No, back to Kader. Or back to Hood. Wagner. Kekchis. Besse. Forward to Varga, to Nagy, back to Lang, Nagy, Vida, of course Vida loses it. Ugh. Lang with a good defensive block, but Kadar ends up hoofing it away. Uh, yeah, Vida has been playing terribly, and it's 6.1. Shows that Varga, Varga and Saleh have been playing quite well, to be fair to them. Nagy back to Lang. What's Lang going to do with it? Just hoofs it back to Hoot Wagner. Back to Lang. Back to Hoot Wagner. Pumps it forward. Doesn't quite get to anybody. But then, oh, Nagy. Oh, Hood Wagner. Yes. I'd lost my mouse there for a second. Every time the ball goes into the box, I'm like, oh, there's going to be a penalty given. Okay, so we're going into half time. Probably drawing. Yeah. Okay, so it's one all at half time. That is a lot better than I was expecting. We have been controlling possession. Yeah, everyone dig in. I'm thinking because Vida played so horrendously that I'm going to take him off. Maybe touch T. I'm gonna bring on or actually Altman. Um, I'm gonna bring on touch T, but I'm gonna have him. Yeah, be a Mazala. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Um, I'm going to put you with pressing forward because you're not playing all that well as an advanced forward. But I feel like it's because he's just kind of too far ahead of of everyone else. Even though we're playing with extremely high lines. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, Kedar! Go on, Vida. To Varga. 
Pops it in. Oh, just gets cleared. I'm just going to pop it back to positive. Kadar with the clearance. Oh. Farga and Slay are shattered. Okay, they're playing with more caution. I'm going to just take, uh, yes, to lay off. He is so very tired. Do I want to bring on Zansta or do I want to bring on Altman? I'm going to bring on Altman because he's good as an attacking midfielder and I put him to attack and hopefully Oh, they've all come back on side. Like, every single Denmark player was offside. Go. Oh. Is it Soleil or Soloy? I always get these two confused. Actually, yeah, you're the one that's decent up front. I could go strikerless. I, I, I'm, just, I'm not even going to pretend. Like I see the fact that almost every one of my centre backs or every one of my defenders is booked. It's just not my problem. I'm actually going to take Slay off and I'm going to bring on Novotny. But I'm going to put him as a target man because I have two advanced or inside forwards. So that should make up for the fact that he's a target man. Um, Christopher Vida not playing well. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it for now because we're probably going to have another player sent off. So <sighs> Lang to Sloy, it's only an hour in. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Novotny, Vida, cross to Sloy. Schmeichel just keeps it out. Yeah, we're going to go back to attacking. Why not? Tajdi puts it in. Not a great corner. But it's gone for a throw in. That's not terrible. Nagy is so tired as well. Ugh, what do I do? Fish. Oh. Uh. Are you serious? preemptively hit very attacking because I knew that that was going to go in the second he stepped up I knew he was going to score <sighs> push forward Tajti whips it in that looked like a handball Nagy absolutely hammers it off the uh, Denmark defender Kadar is not playing at all well. But Nagy is shattered. But then again, it's not my problem. So I'm going to bring on Tomas, but I'm going to put him. I'm going to go back to wingbacks. Because why not? I prefer wingbacks. And we are going to play with wingbacks. What I might do to, not not you, to stop him running around so much is just put him as a deep playing playmaker. And that way he can just kind of settle down somewhere he's not running around as much. One thing I forgot we can do is distribute the target man. Ooh. We're just going to pump it. 
hit early crosses, be more disciplined. Yeah, still run at the defense. Okay, we just need one more. Just need one more. No. Yeah, Vida played quite poorly. Matty Vida, not uh, Christopher Vida. Christopher Vida played all right. Uh, no, I'm far from pleased. Matty Vida, I'm going to let you know that you were shit. I don't care. I can't even give out to Varga. Because, like, Varga played well. And the sending off was, was a shitty decision. So, banned for one match. Ah, uh, well, so the next games we'll be playing will be Belarus and Montenegro. So, hopefully, if we don't win those two games, it's pretty much over. We can't, we're probably going to get the sack if we don't get second in the group. So I'm pretty sure Denmark are going to run away with it. Ideally, we'll be uh, Belarus in both games and beat Montenegro in the next, in the, the home leg of our, <laughs> of our two meetings. Um, so that'll be in the next episode. So this one is going up first. So it'll be, the next episode will be on uh, Saturday. So if you guys did enjoy this please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe share with all of your friends um, if you do subscribe or you have already subscribed hit the bell that is something that YouTube wants you to do because it makes it lets you know when I've uh, put videos up on YouTube they're every day at one o'clock so well one o'clock um, what is it GMT Greenwich Mean Time Irish time and I think it's Irish and English time so yeah I'm just kind of waffling on now <laughs> as I do anyway thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next